All right, boys, welcome back to the MX Box video. So we are on something um, a bit different today. As you can tell, it is quite small. I'm on the YZ85, and we're going to be testing this out on the skate park. So I have never rode this on the skate park or anything. I used to rip these actually on the tracks back in Beta 7, uh, not 17, sorry, 16. And they were pinned, dude. They absolutely shredded. So I guess we're going to go ahead and test out on skate park. I know last time we did the pit bikes, they were insanely OP. So who knows? Maybe this will be OP. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn my reshot off. I did slide a little bit off the face, but it wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, let me turn my reshot off real quick. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, They seem to have pretty solid traction, actually, boys. Um, I did slide a little bit, but I did also hit that pin. They have pretty solid traction. The only thing it's hard for me to tell sometimes is when I'm standing up or not because they are the little bikes, but yeah. Whoa! Bro, how'd I land that? Okay. Um, they, they, yeah, but like I was saying, they seem to have pretty solid traction. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm landing stuff pretty, like, do you see how planted that was? Can I go up over this? I'm probably gonna swap, right? Yeah. No way we saved that. Bro, oh, that was close. But yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and, uh, just hit some jumps on here, test it out, see how it, uh, handles over some big sends, and we'll just see how it feels. I think I'm going to, whoa. Um, I'm gonna try to jump and land on the other side of this real quick to see if we can't do that. Something pretty simple. Well, we slide. Wow, okay. Pretty solid landing traction. So it feels like these have not as much traction as the pit bikes on the faces. But, it, no, but look at that, that's solid still. And it has really solid landing traction, like really solid. This is probably better than the pit bike for landing. I don't know about for taking off yet. We're gonna have to do some more testing, but right now, this thing is feeling pretty solid. I guess I'm going to line up here and set a marker. And we will try to send this on the big send to see if we can't land this one of these times. First attempt. Fourth gear pinned. Oh, we are so dead. Imagine we land this, though. Oh, rip. Little things like to have. try to loop out. They have really good tracks on here, though. But, like, they're not trying to slide at all. They actually are trying to loop instead of sliding. So it does look like it has a little bit more front end tuck. Look at that right there. Off jumps like this. But it has way more solid landing traction. So, I mean, like, it's like a trade-off. You know what I'm saying? Because let's hit the little tabletop send right here, and we'll see. Ooh, nice little wheelie, I guess. Uh, we'll see how it does over this. So, pretty solid traction off the face right there, but the main... So, I just figured out, I don't think it has as good a traction as the pit bike. But the traction when you're landing feels way better than the pit bike. So, it's like a trade-off. Do you want to have better... Like, see that? Look at that. Do you want to have better traction when you're landing? Then you probably want to go ahead and rip on the 85. If you want to have better traction when you're going off faces, I'd probably say the pit bike. So, if you want to go for absolutely big sends, then I'd probably... But I don't know. This script's really good. I'd probably recommend going with with the pit bike but if you want to hit like a line of sense like consistently i would go with the 85 because look at this we can just drop in nice little sandwich we won't even tuck going around this either check that out and we're in third person so we know how meeks i am at that bro what the hell i just got kicked no way i land that oh i was gonna say all right we'll hit a transfer here real quick in a third person um I th how big the player model is on it it's it's pretty cool though that they actually have 85s like this in the game it's actually pretty dang cool the only problem is, every time I go into third person, I have cheeks. Maybe we'll hit the double end of the bowl. Let's try this out right here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I guess that's why I play first person. Right there is exactly... All right, let's go ahead and go back into first per... Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Spawn me back in my marker. All right, let's go ahead and go back into first person here. We can bike life this thing too, huh? No way we land that. That was smooth. All right, let's go ahead and turn around here. I want to try to hit that scent into the bowl and first person and see if we cannot land that as i'm swapping myself out oh perfect dude first time in first person see that's what i'm talking about boys right there all right oh wow okay let's keep the line going no way we land this all right so what like that's what i'm saying the ground traction is insane all right so i'm gonna look around for another send around here and then uh yeah we'll be back when we find a send after i hit this for fun no way almost landed that a uh, loop around this bowl right here let me set a marker so i don't have to ride back every time in case we mess up loop around this bowl and then send it right out of here super satisfying send it was and uh yeah let's go ahead and try to hit this on the 85 right here 
I'm definitely wondering what that was right there. Is that a little dirt pile on the ground right there? Interesting. Not gonna have enough speed to hit it now this time though, no. Alright, so I think we're gonna have to come around this thing in third, boys, and keep some nice momentum. Not go too high up. Oh, can I land that? Okay, that was the wrong side, but hey, that wasn't really too bad. That was kind of a solid little send. But I think I need to actually turn myself around to get a better angle at it. So what I'm gonna do is turn myself around, put my track marker up right here, and then we can like loop into it and throw myself like that up against it like that. That was pretty close right there. I think this is gonna be the better way to do this with the 85, but I am not for sure as I'm in a wheel stand. Oh, we are getting kicked. This set is definitely a little bit harder on the 85, that is for sure, but we got to get this. This will be a nice send. All right, so I just landed a 360. Um, I don't know what that was or how that worked, but we're not going to question it. So that was pretty legit. Um, let's try to do something up here now that we just landed a legit 360 on the 85. I wonder, I want to like throw like a nice little oh, drop in, but like, no, that did not work how I planned in my brain, but that is all right. Just going to cruise over here, hit the double into the bowl like nothing. Bruh, I almost, but yeah, overall, these 85s are pretty dang solid on the skate park. I definitely recommend giving it a try. I'll leave a link down below if you guys do want to rip the uh, 85. Super easy to install. Just install them like the OEMs and they work pretty good. Um, they have on the motocross tracks, they also have really good front end traction. Um, and back end traction is insane. So that's, I'm assuming that's probably why they're so good on here. At least the back end traction was insane back in beta 16. So I'm assuming it probably still is. But yeah, super fun. There's 150. There's all the 85s. I think they even have the RM and Hondas. And then they have the 150, like I said. Pretty cool bikes. I like the KTM and the KX and the YZ. They seem to handle really good, be super fast, and just rip all in all. So that's why I usually pick those bikes. But yeah, I mean, they're all pretty fun to rip. Let's go ahead and turn around right here and send this down into the bowl on a little 85 because why not here? Let's go ahead and put my marker. Uh, make sure we're standing up. Hit this nice. No way we just hit that first try. Bro. I just put a mark up there for nothing, dude. That was sick. Landed a little sketchy. Bro, wait, 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 wait. But that wasn't bad. Is there a person in? What the hell? Is that a person? Look at that. Like the arms and the body and the head. That, ha that looks like a person right there on the side of the ramp. I never noticed that little detail. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, don't forget about Mr. Cracks over there. I just saw him, bro. Kid's pinned. He's sending it over there himself with those big eyes. Can I send anything over here? No way I land on that. Bro, I almost grinded. Um, I don't think there's anything on the other big skate park. This is, uh, look, the Super Mario there on the wall. This is usually the best skate park, in my opinion, to rip on and throw some nice transfers on. I'm going to come up here. Let's put a marker down. Uh, what happens if I send this? I've never really tried sending this. Oh, it leads to death. That's why. Unless. No, yeah, that leads to death. No, unless. No, that leads to death. Bro. Um. Um. Well, this is a great experience. Well, at least we can see Mr. Cracks from here. So I had to return back to Pit to get back to the skate park. At least to head back that way. Damn bike life in on this thing, bro. The, that's the thing about these things. They like the wheelies so easy. So if you like do like bike like stuff on bike life tracks, like these things are one of the things you must have. Like look at that. Barely hit like watch. I'll barely hit the gas, and it just tries to go into a wheelie loop. It'll take a decent amount of control, which I don't have right now with wheelies on this thing. But if you do, definitely would be certainly fun to rip on. Like look at that. Right into a wheel stand it goes. And we're going to be all right through here because this thing is pretty cracked on skate park. Send it into the bowl because why not? And then, can I, like, send this up and over from the side? Oh, you can. But am I going to land? I am not. Good to find out. So I want to hit a pretty big send before we uh, quit ripping the 85 on here. So the big send I do would like to hit would be this one right here. So I'm going to line up. And I guess I'm just going to keep sending this until I either hit it or I get tired of attempting to hit it, boys. So let's go ahead and just start sending this thing absolutely. So fourth gear pinned. Uh, I wasn't pinned all the way, but we're going to have to hit this fourth gear absolutely pinned, it looks like, to at least clear it. So we're going to try that right now. That was fourth gear pinned. That is not enough. It's so close, but it is not enough. That moment you can uh, clear this um, in lower than fourth gear on a pit bike and uh, with much more ease. Um, okay. 
So what I'm going to do here is actually back up real quick. And then we're going to reset a track marker. And I guess we're going to have to hit this BZ fifth pin. Might have to edit my gearing to make fourth a little longer. But we'll see. Oh, fifth is shredding. Bro, no way we land that. Oh, no. That would have been sick, dude. Okay, so fifth gear has the power to do it. Just got to short shift it and hold it pinned. Oh, and it has the potential to over jump by far as well, dude. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're just going to sit here and we're going to try to get this send out. And we'll see you guys when we hit this. Okay, so I just made it in fourth gear perfect. So as you can see, I was wrong earlier. I guess this send is actually pretty easy on the 85. Uh, pretty solid bike overall. I definitely recommend you guys go checking this out just if you want to have a rip with them. Like, look at that. I wasn't even trying to, and we overjumped by far. These things really thrive if you ride this short shift it. Do not try to rev it out. As you as you saw, short shift it really fast. So like, say, okay, here's an example. As you're going like that. This thing really thrives off of the short shifting because it's so fast. But, yeah, I mean, this was a pretty fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed me ripping the 85s on here. It was quite fun, and actually doing all these random bikes, we're finding some quite OP stuff. So, yeah, I really yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys aren't sub, definitely sub down below. Because if you enjoy the content, why not help support me? But thank you guys for tuning into this MX Bikes video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video, boys. Peace.